guys, in today's video we're going to compare the two Asian giants neighbors China and India so let's dive in. China is a crazy big country located in the east of Asia. It has the most diverse and breathtaking geography in the world. It's roughly the same size as the US and it's over twice as big as the entire European Union. The weird thing is that each of those comparative nations has at least three time zones but China has only one Beijing time. And it applies everywhere with no headaches. So in the west of the country, the sun doesn't rise until 10 p.m. On the other hand, India that is located in the south of Asia is about one third the size of the United States with a one time zone. India shares land borders with six nations it has boundaries problems with most of them. China has the longest combined land border in the world measuring 22,117 kilometers. Also it has the most neighbor countries in the world. It borders 14 nations more than any other country except Russia which also borders 14 countries. But India has a better location it dominates the South Asian subcontinent. It's nearby the important Indian Ocean trade route. So in order to rein in India's potential, China has invested in a network of military and political influence in the countries surrounding India, called String of Pearls. This includes the Gwadar port in Pakistan, a deep water port in Myanmar, and the $1.1 billion construction of the Hamban Tota port in Sri Lanka. Bangladesh too is now dotted with pearls of Chinese investment. The 4.8 kilometers long Muktapur bridge was constructed with $17 million of Chinese money and is the sixth bridge in the country to receive funding from Beijing. China has a big heart, I guess. China is the world's most populous country, with a population of around 1.4 billion people. India is the second most populous country with over 1.2 billion people. So about 40% of all human beings alive today are Chinese and Indian. To make this clear, in every five humans alive today one of them is Chinese and one is Indian. It's obvious that a gigantic population like this need a massive infrastructure. India has the largest postal network in the world with 150,000 post offices. However, it is not unusual for a letter to take more than two weeks to travel just 30 miles. Actually, the Chinese infrastructure is far greater than the Indian's infrastructure. The People's Republic of China is big geographically as we have mentioned before, so they have over 100 cities of over 1 million people compared to India that has just over 50 urban cities with over 1 million people each. These cities have to be connected. China's highways had reached a total length of 85,000 kilometers, making it the longest highway system in the world. Also, they have the third longest network of railways in the world with more 103,000 kilometers. Needless to say that people need water to survive. They have the biggest dam on earth. It created a reservoir the size of the kingdom of Bahrain. It holds about 39.3 cubic kilometers of water. But the truly crazy part is that the dam is so big that its construction slowed the rotation of the entire planet. And this is insane. Both of these Asian giants emerged as two of the world's earliest civilizations. Paper making, printing, the compass, gunpowder and even the ketchup were discovered by the Chinese. Also Chinese mathematicians were the first to use negative numbers. On the other hand, the concept of zero is a number is attributed to India. India led the world in diamond and cotton production. The shampoo has invented in India, not the commercial liquid ones but the method by use of herbs. Water on the moon was discovered by India, and most historians agree that the first recorded account of the plastic surgery is found in ancient Indian Sanskrit texts. Nowadays India is one of the world's fastest growing economies. It is the world's largest tea producer and it produces 70% of the world's spices. However, China's economy is four times larger than India's economy. The GDP of India is close to $1.5 trillion. At the same time, the GDP of China is close to $7 trillion. China is the world's largest exporter and 
second largest importer of goods. It has also the world's largest market for automobiles, having surpassed the United States in both auto sales and production. Both nations are two of 17 mega diverse countries. China has over 34,700 species of animals and vascular plants, making it the third most biodiverse country in the world, after Brazil and Colombia. It has over 2,350 nature reserves, covering a total area of 150 million hectares. It's about 15% of China's total land area. All this biodiversity has to reflect in somehow on the culture of both countries. For example, Chinese cuisine is highly diverse as well as food therapy that is emphasized by traditional Chinese medicine. And the Indian spicy dishes become one of the famous and most successful cuisines around the world. And you can find Indian restaurants in London more than in Mumbai which is the biggest city in India. Mumbai also is known as the city of dreams. It has the world's largest movie industry. The B in Bollywood comes from Bombay, the former name for Mumbai. In addition dancing is one of India's most highly developed arts, and was an integral part of worship in the inner shrines of every temple. It is notable for its expressive hand movements. On the other hand, the Chinese culture believes that calligraphy, poetry, and painting are higher forms of art than dancing or drama. Let's finish with the armies. China has 2.3 million active troops. The People's Liberation Army is the largest standing military force in the world. India has 1.4 million active troops. They compose the world's second largest military. The official Indian defense budget for 2017 was was $53.5 billion. China's military budget totaled $151.5 billion, constituting the world's second largest military budget. The U.S. Office of the Secretary of Defense argued that China does not report its real level of military spending, which is allegedly much higher than the official budget. Both nations have a space program and both of them are recognized as nuclear weapon states. May God be with Asia.